So here's my latest addition to the toys is single length irons. Uh, I've always loved the idea of them being the same length. So these are Deschambeau, here's a pitching wedge and here's the five iron. So they're the same. So I struggled with them at first and I still am struggling a bit with them. Um, the third swing with the five iron, I actually broke the five iron. Had to have the shaft replaced to a stiffer shaft, um, which kind of defeats the purpose of the of the matching set. So the other thing I'm having a problem with is this is so much longer this pitching wedge that it's hard for me to get used to distances. I've been struggling with that a little bit. So I've been off. I've been hitting shorter, higher. So I'm working on that. And I'll talk about that in a little bit because there's another part that came with unexpectedly. I had acro sensors in the handles, came with it. I didn't even realize it until I opened the package. And then there were these sensors. So I had to get more sensors, put one in the putter, put one in my wedges, and basically, you know, I'll do a little recap in just a couple minutes about uh, how that system works and what you can use it for and can you get better. So my light set, my carrying set, right now I'm playing around with the single length irons. Are they better? I haven't uh, been able to recommend them so far. Uh, it's definitely different. I like the idea of being the same setup all the time. I love that idea. And to me, it makes so much sense but to get used to these longer, uh, short, you know, clubs, the wedge, the nine iron, um, the eight iron, it takes a little bit of getting used to because of the length being so long. At first I struggled on chips, for instance, but slowly I'm getting used to it. Uh, DeChambeau had the same problem and he basically ended up choking down and going to a, a different feel for the chips. So I'll keep you updated on them. I'll keep playing with them and I'll post some, some uh, scores and uh, you know, see how we do with them. I'm still in love with my Mira Forged. I'm probably gonna be using those forever, but I had snapped a wedge on those. And so this became the set that I'm putting in the bag right now for my plane. So the nine and the five being the same length, uh, the way it's working is that actually they use different weights in the clubs. Um, these little tungsten weights in the top, right in the very top to weight them all differently. Um, so you're swinging the same, but uh, the amount of mass that you're swinging is different. And that's how they're adjusting the lengths. Um, so far they're consistent from club to club. I'm probably eh, about eight yards different for each club so far. But I'll have more on that as I collect data um, from the sensors and the handles, which is, what the rest of this video will be about. So here is what really is what the Acros is worth. And it's, you know, eventually gonna caddy for you. Uh, but it really is just let me know what my game really is. I haven't been playing well as of late. And these are the only holes I've been able to record so far. But um um, three over on these three rounds. But what it tells you is really interesting stuff about your tendencies. So I can go into stats, for instance. I lost ground on driving and approach. But I picked up strokes uh, well on my short game and my putting. It's got all sorts of things you can do. Driving summaries, approach summaries, um, you know, I'm losing strokes on my approaches because I'm struggling with the irons because of the change. I'm missing short shots. I'm going to tell you how you're losing those. 
at what distances. You can say on terrain how you're missing. It calculates greens in regulation. And then it compares you to the pros. It's comparing you basically to a zero handicap. So it's some really good information that you can use to get better. And here it's giving my stats that I, for the rounds I've put in so far and saying where I'm screwing up, which, which I already know the approach is. I, I'm having a lot, real hard time adjusting to the shorter clubs because they're so long. So I'm, I'm off as far as, you know, how I typically get greens in regulation. I'm really off. It's just very different. Um, the shaft is different. Uh, it's just probably too whippy. As I said, uh, in the third strike, I broke the five iron. I was hitting higher when I first started, and now I'm adjusting to that. So there's there's work to do. But you can see I'm blowing it on the approach. So I'd have my regular handicap, basically, if I could get my approach shots onto the greens. You know, and they're saying I'm a good putter, which, you know, I, I have a good short game, a good puck game, good sand game. So it says what to work on. Top three insights, approach by train, get the tee shots where you want into the fairway. And get your approach distance from 100 to 150 better. Get closer. So it gives you trends, and as I've played them, getting back to more towards my normal handicap. You know, as I adjust to the clubs. So then it gives all these different statistical breakdowns. And it says compared to zero handicap, which I actually am plus handicap, you get 9% less birdies, which is true. I don't birdie as much as I should. And this will change as I have a heart round. These stats will update. But on average, I get 28% more pars. And I've always said I built my game around pars. It's a par game. And it's all T to green. Get in position. If you miss a shot, make it so you can chip up and down. And that's what works for me. That's how I built my game. It also tells you hole by hole how you played. So it's keeping your score. It even lets you know where your putts were from. So I basically two putt from 18 feet. And it pieces together your game. Shows you how you played, your strategies. It can even show where you scrambled to save par. And then it develops the stats. So it's very, very interesting uh, when you piece it together and say, okay, where can I try and improve? And that's what it's really all about, is improvement. Uh, it came free with the Cobra Irons. It's probably a $200 item. Would I buy it necessarily? I might if I were a better player trying to improve. Uh, it gives suggestions, for instance, as to uh, what club. And it's even calculating wind and such. So it's giving us caddy suggestion on, uh, you know, how you should play the hole. So it does that after the third round. All of that information going in, you kind of know it naturally. But it really helps you to think differently uh, and start to improve your game. Akros, I do recommend it for the better player.